they wait until they're dying to do the things that they'd like to do in their life. I'd like to challenge that and flip that around a bit and suggest to you all that you don't wait until the end. Have you ever said to yourself, hands up, I'll be happy when I've got a new job, I've got more money, the kids are in school, the kids have left school. That's a good one. <laughs> I know I have. And have you ever been so unhappy, so sad, and so miserable that you felt it would never have happiness or joy in your life again? I know I have. Many years ago, I lost my brother to suicide. He got to that dark place and he couldn't find his way back. I often wonder if what I know now could have made a difference in his life. The decisions that he made and the impact on our lives. Recent research shows us that we are less happy today than we were five years ago. And why is that? Are we in an unhappiness epidemic? The happiness barometer measured external influences, lifestyle, employment, location, social services, and freedom. So I'm suggesting to you today that you don't wait to live, you start now. Throughout my life, I've learned some strategies, some tips, and that means theory into practice. And you have to put these tips into practice to get the desired outcome that you require. The first one is gratitude. Every single day, practice gratitude. And say thank you often, not only to yourself, but to others that you come into contact with. Because when you say thank you, the person who receives your thank you will also feel better within themselves. And that causes a ripple effect. The second tip is perceptions. Give yourself a reality check. Are those perceptions that you've been carrying around for all of those years doing you any good? How about you get curious? Ask questions with respect and with non-judgment. Find out other points of view. Look around, listen and hear. How would you like to be looking at the world? You have a choice. The next tip is setting boundaries. Set yourself some healthy boundaries, resourceful boundaries. Let people know, again with respect, what is acceptable to you and for you or not. Don't let people walk all over you. You do not have to say yes to everything and everyone all of the time. It is okay to say no because that will protect you. The next is emotions. And there are no good or bad emotions. They are all ours. They are all ours to feel. How many people here have been told, stop crying as a child? We are crying because we are hurt, we are sad, we are upset. Feel into them, acknowledge them, validate them. Don't let them become permanent residents in your life, but let them go so that you too can move forward. The next tip is exercise. Get up and move. You don't have to go for a five mile run. You don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to go for a swim or a bike ride. Get up and move. Take the kids to the park. Go for a walk. Get out in the sunshine. Feel the fresh air. And get those feel good hormones moving around your body. That will make you, your mind and your body thank you. So with these wonderful tips, you have the power to choose happiness every single day. And remember, TIP, theory into practice. You do have to practice them. So I urge you today, don't wait till you're dying. Don't wait another minute. Start today. Start now. Don't wait till you